Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Jalopy, Jalopy, Jalopy. Anyhow, because the previous episode ended somehow weirdly, I'm still not sure if that was a bug or what the hell happened. But we got to a section of the road where two cars were flipped, each on the other side of the highway. We weren't able to reach Dresden. And therefore, I have decided, let's take another shot at this. So I started a brand new game. So here we have our uncle in that swaggy suit. And what we're going to try to do is, because now the car is like fully built up. Uh, yeah, we're going to take the uncle. We can actually not take the uncle. Wow, that's awesome. Maybe the reduced weight will actually allow our Leica here to go up the hill a bit better. Now... The fun thing is that I actually decided to, like... Ooh, there's even a re engine repair kit and stuff. Uh, we did even come across, like, a box, which, for example, had, uh, a, like, coffee in it. But I'm not really sure if this is, like, representing all the things which we have so far picked up because on the previous episode i like went to a gas station and i like picked up a spare tire and i like refilled some of these things and the, the spare tire just disappeared and the engine repair kit it, it like vanished into thin air so we're gonna take all of our uh, supplies here and hopefully the car will be able to manage this and because we are starting like a brand new game it's it's not gonna be somehow messy the funniest thing which i found out while setting up this video is that you can click on the chair and you will be just transported through closed doors <laughs> into your seat but when you want to get out you cannot do the same you actually have to open the damn doors and and do this so fun stuff there but if we pull the hood uh, we see that right now we have the durability again at all the top and the fuel tank is rich oil mix uh, we should probably try to adjust that so that it's optimal uh, but uh, hold on let's let's take the oil no not the water It's kind of trippy with the controls, like trying to really pick up. Oh my god. Are you serious? Stop it! I'm, I'm just trying to pick up one goddamn bottle of oil in order to make the uh, mixture optimal. Yeah, it seems like it's full, so we cannot really tweak with it, but okay. So we're going to be taking a different route. On the previous episode, we took the second route, which had the gas station in there. So I was thinking maybe we're going to take the third route because we have the spare tank of fuel, the oil, the water and everything. And we're just going to see what's up. So let's head into our Leica. Let's pull the map. And we're going to choose uh, the third route, theoretically, which is 350 kilometers in order for us to reach the destination. Although, if we would go right now with the first route, uh, we would have a sunny day and it seems like a, a normal road. So we should be able to theoretically manage. It seems like there is going to be a gas station over here, so I'm tempted to go the third route. I don't know, I'm a sucker for punishment. Maybe the third episode will be us trying the first route, who knows. But okay, let's see if I remember how to control the car. So, uh, uncle, where where is my car key? Where's my car key? Uncle? I'm going to kick you out of the damn car if you won't give me my car keys. Okay, do we need to really step outside? Where where are the car keys? Are they hanging somewhere? Yeah, there's like spare tires, there's the oil thing, there are the components which I cannot take with me. The call remover. Okay, interesting. We don't have anything like that right now, so let's turn off the light. Uh, don't see anything in here. Come on! Where's the car key? Where's the car key? Where's the car key, uncle? 
Oh, okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, let, let's pretend like we all did not just do what I did. Okay, let's roll this sucker back up. Let's plug it in. Yeah, there she goes. And here we go. Off to Dresden we drive. So we're gonna be taking the right side of the road and again this game is totally freaking me out because i i cannot utilize the mirrors so this, this is just so this is so weird it's like against everything it goes when you are actually driving a car so this is gonna be fun We'll be traveling the autobahns for the first part. This should give you a chance to get grips with the Leica. And pretty damn soon we're gonna actually start experiencing all sorts of like holes on the road and these oil slicks and all the other stuff and it's gonna get the car super dirty. So it looks like we have already traveled 30 kilometers. Really? We just went through one freaking tunnel. If, if a tunnel would have to be 30 kilometers long, that would be wow. Okay, so once again, we have to bypass the T38, T34. Uh, I think that's the 85 variation. I don't know. I haven't played War Thunder in quite a while. And uh, World of Tanks is just not my jam because uh, War Thunder. You can actually one-shot a freaking tank. If you know what you're doing... Ooh, we actually are getting a traffic! That's pretty damn impressive. Actually, the funniest thing is that when we were driving in the first episode, there was nothing. Nada. You know, it's a curious feeling. Being on the road again after such a long time. All the years in the GDR... Man, 1990. Those were the days. <laughs> Those were the days. God damn. Aw, oh, man. What is up with this game and all these flipped cars? Like, seriously, what the hell? Did I pick up some weird bug diversion? Can I... Like, I'm terrified to see if I can squeeze in. <laughs> you ain't gonna stop us. We, we are gonna escape. I know I wasn't born here, but I found the belonging I've not experienced at any other time in my life. Being one of the people like a family all working together for each other. Where I'm from, that was uncommon. Yeah, I still don't know where you're from, Uncle. We we don't even know where we are from. We don't even have, like, a town or some place in uh, Germany f uh, from where we are leaving. I mean, I know that Dresden is in Germany, but goddammit, like, where are we going from? And we're going down the hill! Okay, be honest. Any of you ever experienced that weird tingling sensation when you are sitting in a car and you start to go downhill? I mean, I'm, I'm not even holding the gas pedal right now and, and we are just going down. But seriously, do any of you ever experience that weird tingling sensation? Oh man, that, that's so... That's so weird. I usually get it more on like the roller coasters and such, but it, it's really fun when it happens on the road. Okay, so I'm not sure if they are like drunk driving or what's up because they keep driving really weirdly, but considering the fact that I'm going through two lanes, I should not uh, like be judging others. So we're gonna have to keep looking for signals to tell us where the Dresden is gonna be so we don't get lost because the map doesn't really show us a detail of the world well with the wall down it should be long till we see reunification a literal separation of people for what it has been 29 years yes 29 years oh my how much people must have changed 
And now up the hill. With our two fat asses, this car is barely able to get to 20 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Man, these old cars. Jesus Christ. Seriously, the engine in this thing is actually used for more of a small mopeds or like motorcycles, not for an actual car. The, the two-stroke engine is not the most efficient thing. I mean, the modern cars work on what, like four-stroke engines? Something like that, right? Someone has to let me know in the comment section. Oh my god, what is up with these goddamn flip cars? How is that happening? There is a flipped car, right? I really like the fact that there's always one guy behind the flip card and he's like, Oh damn, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> oh man, Uncle Lufti keeps talking about something. It's really inconvenient for me to not look at the road ahead. So you're gonna have to do some of that reading on your own and we're gonna have to make sure that we follow the road to Dresden. So we need to go forward. We don't need to go to Leipzig. Even the road is closed, so there's that. And it looks like our engine is starting to receive damage. I would really love to find like a place for us to go off the main road and park the car. I haven't really seen any like resting places or something for like trucks or such. So that we can take a look under the hood. Half of our engine or fuel tank, sorry, is actually being depleted by now. So there's that. Come on, come on, you can do it like a pull our fat asses up the hill. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. And what is that? Tankstelle. Okay, so we are getting close to a gas station. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna take a look under the hood, we're gonna refill the gas, we have like 90 marks. So, that's gonna help us out. Okay, it's kind of super narrow. I do have to also inspect the car if we suffered any damage to, like, uh, the car exterior when we were scraping against these things. When we were trying to bypass the fur car, first car crash. So we need to get over here. And my god, these these gas stations are so weird and trippy. We're gonna shut off the engine and we're gonna open up the doors. You know, Uncle, you would be actually super helpful if you would pick your fat ass up and actually go wash the damn car. I'm quite sure if I close the doors. Yeah, boy. Okay, let's see if we can wash this beauty. Get it all nice and sparkly. Okay, I'm not really sure if the game is just bugging out or what's happening, but... Unable to wash the dirt. Why can't I wash the damn tires? We should be able to do that, right? And how the heck did we manage to get the dirt at the back of the car? Come on. Come on. Let, let's wash the license plate so the cops can identify us. In case we commit any sort of really horrible act on the road. Okay, let's 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 get it washed. Come on! Come on! Wh why won't you wash it? Wash it! Wash it! Wash it! Come on! God damn it! <laughs> where, where did I throw the damn sponge? Okay. No! Don't don't pick up the bucket. What am I gonna do? Toss it at the front of the car? <laughs> hey uncle, I wanna see some wet t-shirt uh, washing your front glass. <laughs> Man, if I would do that to him, it would probably jump under the incoming traffic or something. Uh, we gotta torture our uncle. He gave us this beauty. If we can call that car that uh my god i really cannot wash the damn front of the car i don't get it 
Like, it's really not allowing me to watch the license plate and such. So that's just so weird. Okay, we're gonna pop the hood. And we're gonna have to take a look at the durability of our engine. So it looks like we need to fix the stock air filter. We need to uh, refill the fuel tank and we need to take a look at the sto stock carburetor because these three components are all lacking in their durability. Uh, so let's take this and... Uh, Wa bam! Haha! <laughs> Issue solved. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be taking the stuff which we currently do possess. I want to keep the spare uh, tank of fuel as is. We're gonna refill the water so that we can wash our windows. We're gonna take the. Uh, you know what? Let's let's first uh, take this. And refill the gas. We are at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna pour in that oil to get the optimal mixture. Because we don't want it to be too rich, we want it to be optimal. Come on. Come on. Come on! What, is this empty? Ah, oh, it's empty. We're gonna have to purchase a brand new bottle. So we can actually put in this thing, and she's gonna be willing to, like, so buy it from us. Because it's, like I said, empty. Wait, why is it showing five bucks? Okay. So I wanna buy this. And I need to go for my wallet. Totally forgot to pick up wallet. You know, seriously, you can actually, like, do stuff, uncle. Put your back into it. And you're gonna see me put my back into it where you're gonna be flying through the damn front shield. Okay, so we have 100 marks. We're gonna go and we're gonna pay. So now we have the oil and we can change in the mixture. And because we paid, the gate will open up too. What the hell just happened? Put that thing back in, and if, if the fuel is gonna be gone, I'm gonna be hella mad. Optimal oil mixture. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we uh, should theoretically consider selling the water. We still have that spare tire. We are gonna get, uh, get uh, uh, a full bottle. So let's grab the wallet too, because we're gonna have to make some business decisions. I really don't think I'm gonna require the fabric, at least I don't know right now what would I use the textile for. And let's take you. Well, bam. Why, why do I keep giving you uh, money and nothing keeps changing? Okay. And we really need to pick up the engine repair kit because this stuff keeps breaking down. Oh, that's that's a lot. That's 15 marks. So we're going to be left at the start of our road with 71 marks. Okay. Let's grab these two puppies, and we're gonna head out on another adventure of Jalopy. Jalopy. Jalopy? Okay, there goes that. Oh, come on, we gotta try driving with, with the hood popped open, right? I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be so dangerous. <laughs> oh. Okay, let, let, let's do the thing. Let, let's... Let's warp through the doors. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. And now to back up. Oh, man. Dresden. Wait, why is the Dresden uh, 
pointing over here. Should we therefore return in that general direction? So our engine has been repaired. We're gonna follow the road mark. And if I'm gonna find out that we took the wrong turn and we are wasting fuel, I'm gonna be kind of mad. But yeah, in 1990s, the fuel efficiency wasn't really like the biggest concern of the Soviet Union or the post-Soviet Union countries. Okay, and what's up with all these flipped cars, Jesus Christ? One thing I thought, no good comes from involving yourself in political opposition. Life becomes much more uh, bearable when you accept the flow of things. Okay, I'm just trying to check these doors in the tunnel because when we had the first mission or the first attempt on J Jalupi, uh, there was like a box with coffee beans inside. So if we pick up these spare things, we just might be able to... You see, there's like a box right over here. So if I park it, leave it, Unwrap it. Oh man, this thing has actually a freaking lock on it. Can I? No. I want to somehow drop it in the trunk. You know, this is what's driving me crazy that you cannot actually let go and like drop it into the back seat. Like, how the hell am I supposed to open up this box when there is a lock on it? These doors are probably locked and uh, we simply do not have a tool that would just allow me to crack the sucker open. Okay, let's drop the fuel tank. Let's see if we can pick up the box. You know what? Let's put the fuel tank back. <laughs> Science! <laughs> God damn it. How about like this? Can can we push it on top? So so we would have it like on the roof of, of the car. How about on, on, on the back? What, what happens now if I, like, uh, increase the, the speed? Will it slide off or what's gonna happen? We don't even know how far we are yet. It shows 350 kilometers and we have passed through 960, but that might be just due to the fact that we stopped at the gas station too. Come on, kick in. Ah, damn it, it fell off. It fell off. Yeah. What, what would happen if I would, like, Back into it. <laughs> this is like the the worst uh, attempt to kill a box ever. So we're we're just gonna leave it. We should actually turn on our lights. Oh my god! There's another box. Let's flip off the lights or turn them off because battery is limited too. And what's in someone's Amazon pack? Jesus Christ, look at all this textile. We are so taking this. I hope we can store it. Because if we can store it, we can sell it. It looks still like a grenade, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey! I, oh, okay, those are the lights from the tunnel itself. I thought I left the, the lights of the car on. So let's go, Uncle Lufty. You have been kind of silent. You, you don't mind me picking up all this weird stuff? Okay. Another flipped car! What are these people winning the driver's license and lottery? I mean, that, it would actually explain, like, a whole lot of the situations which we see on the roads, but goddamn. <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, there's Dresden ahead. Yeah, once again, 
I don't know who has the priority of driving on the roundbound, but okay. Let's head to the motel. We'll have to cross the border tomorrow. Son of a biscuit, I actually managed to reach Dresden in one piece. I almost gave up at the start when I saw that first crash and the road was blocked, to be honest. To be honest, that was kind of freaky. Okay, so... Baustelle. Nine. And... Uh, where in the funk can we get... Some shut eye. So it looks like there is a Leica. Okay. So can we park it here or are we looking for something specific? Uh, I'm not sure if we can crack open the garage. Dun dun dun. -da. Thanks. Like I employee, feel free to look through our catalog. Uh, okay. The Herter Leica Ferrer to the official Leica dealership parts catalog. In this catalog, you are invited to browse through a huge variety of bespoken engine components and car extras designed specifically for the comfort and performance improvements of your Leica 601 Deluxe motor vehicle driving experience. Simply select your desired component, fill out the order form, and send off to efficient same-day delivery. Leica Automobile Worker wishes you a pleasant drive through Oh wow, okay, so stock engine, small two-stroke, uh, green stock engine with two cylinders wow okay brown stock engine red stock engine Kroneking. a small two-stroke engine with two cylinder chrome king performance hsk a small two-stroke engine with two cylinder and carbolite a small two-stroke engine with two cylinders okay i'm not really sure what determines the value here we can go to naked we can go to stock ramshackle squash fuel tank stock uh 10 liter fuel tank 11 11 so i don't see that many uh upgrades uh when it comes to like uh just in general the 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 value of like these things okay so we're gonna be putting that away and uh, the question is can we go into the garage too or no not really and why are you working in the middle of the night at least i'm assuming it's the middle of the night and i just parked in what seems to be like a supply drop okay so the garage is definitely closed so we're gonna have to look for the motel somewhere else and motels are definitely something which you would have not see in uh this region in 1990 motels that that's more of like a uh american thing at least i th think i would not be able to see something like this there are like restaurants and such along the roads but usually like truckers sleep in their uh trucks and people did not used to travel that far with cars back in the day because cars were like expensive and not everyone can afford one um is this a freaking miss oil that's another gas station I need to figure out where the hell is there some place for us to get that shut eye. Hold on. What if we hold the handbrake and take a look at the map? Ah, man, the map really needs to be reworked so that we have like a uh, inside of the town option. Uh, that looks like the border. There's a motel park outside the front. What? 
What you talking about? That's a beer? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So pretty well hidden. Let's let's uh, I'm not really sure what are the parking spaces in here. Okay, there's one. And now the question is if we're going to blow our entire budget on uh sleeping in a freaking motel. Uh I just want to make sure that I'm properly parked and so that I'm not taking up two spaces like some jackass. Let's see how did I park it? Okay, okay, I'm actually pleased with myself. I was thinking it would end up much, much worse. So, uncle is going away. I'm not really sure if I need to take the wallet and the the, the passports. And uh, is someone gonna steal our stuff? How do I... How do I... Pull the car keys. Can I just leave the car as is and someone will not steal it? No, don't, don't. Come on. Play nice. Stop messing around with me. Okay, let, let's... Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Let, let's see if we can actually go and get some shut-eye and see what's up. Yeah, the... the, the, the it looks like the hood did receive some damage there. Should I bring the damn wallet? Welcome, will you be staying with us tonight? No, forever! It's 20 for the room. Jesus freaking Christ. I have to... The wallet is in the glove compartment of the car. Go get it so we can pay. Uh, really? Did you not bring any money, uncle? Or like, what's up? 20 is kind of a lot of cash, and considering the fact that we don't have that much to go anymore, we have 51 marks. Okay, we kindly ask you to not disturb the other guests during your stay. Tom, you can let me into the room. I'm trying to pick up the damn keys, man. What's in the newspaper? Uh, I don't know. Junk. Useless junk might get a little bit of money for it. Sell value 0 0.05 marks. Probably no. Wait, how do you know which, which room is it when I hold the damn keys, man? Yeah, I'm gonna spank you with the wallet. No? Okay. Uh, scarcity of pharmaceuticals. CSFR. Okay, interesting. 1B. Uh, how the hell do I know which is 1B? Can I get somehow rid of the freaking newspaper? Okay, he's moving, lifting up one foot and just dragging the other one behind him. Uh, can I pull the freaking keys out of the door? You could visit the market to trade or upgrade the car at Leica dealership. Okay. Just use the bed when you're done for the day and we can get some sleep. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Time for bed. So so you're just gonna be sitting there? What the hell just happened? What is this? Why did your case open? What what what's that? Uh state denial. August nineteen eighty nine. Okay, uh, I'm going to try to not butcher the German pronunciation, like I said. Können Sie langsam sprechen? Ich verstehe Scheiße. So we're, we're, we're going to see how this is going to turn out. So, Werther Genose Lufti, in response to your request for the acquisition of one Leica 601 motor vehicle for the purposes of transportation of personal property to be returned to their country of origin, a place on the date of 12th of February 1986. We can now inform you. Furthermore, we are compelled to remind you that all communications with countries outside state sphere of influence are thoroughly monitored. As such, we must ask you 
all comrades to exercise constant vigilance with regards to any delicate information they may find themselves in possession of that we are unable to approve of support this request on the grounds that government vehicles are not to be used in the transportation of private property especially to countries outside of fraternal socialist observation mit socialization grüß some name okay how, how do i get rid of this thing then should should we close the briefcase because this is just awkward as hell is he gonna be snoring the whole time can i take a shower can we see what's in these shelves are we gonna be charged five dollars per pack of small nuts or something uh what's in the wardrobe can we can we take any towels with us why can i uh take the damn uh key okay let's see what's uh upstairs what we're exploring that's that's what i do ah okay so there is actually maybe a number on the doors Let, let's see if our doors has that to be continued on it or not ah 1b okay so it's 1b so we were told to go see some market and to trade stuff now the question is can, can we like take all these things i want to see if i can like crack open the back and uh, just cram in all this stuff so we are gonna be able to sell the fabric and uh where the hell is the goddamn market i i don't want to drive too much around um because obvious reasons the gas is freaking expensive in this game and we are burning through it like there's no tomorrow so i'm assuming there's the border and so maybe we can actually grab some of these things uh take the car to this uh gas station uh sell some of these things and see if we can turn a profit or no i mean we are mostly selling like paper cups and like four pieces of the fabric but because we are not that far away I i'm not gonna be uh carrying these things in my hand so so let's let's uh take the car no, not, not, not the map, not the map. Close the map. Close the map. Close the door. And... Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to back up. Hopefully the engine won't get damaged by some dumb reason again. We do have these spare parts. But it seems like we can only use the box uh, three times. And uh, each of the repair uh, increases the uh, component's uh, durability by one point. And if three is the top, I'm not really sure what starts to happen once we go below two. Like if the car gets completely unusable. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna park it. We need to park outside the motel. Yeah, 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 I know, but I'm trying to sell a bunch of stuff here. And also, it would be nice if I can actually try to wash the damn front of the... Okay, how is it that now it actually worked? Do I need to, like, uh, uh, put the sponge into the water every two times I wash off a piece of something? Okay, we are even able to get the, the dirt off the tires this time. No, drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Okay. It's, uh, this time I cannot do the back. I'm so confused with this game. <laughs> I'm so confused with this game. <laughs> Why did you recommend this to me? This is driving me up the wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's pop the hood. And... Uh... Let's see how much of this stuff can we actually sell. Hello! A little lost. Just pick whatever you need. 
Okay, so we have dropped up those things. It looks like they are selling cigarettes, or is it just me that thinks that that's cigarettes? Okay, so we're gonna be selling this. Okay, so it looks like they have changed up the M M Marlboro brand a bit, and they are selling cigarettes uh, by value 9.6. A very nasty habit and then there's coffee the value is much lower then there is medicine okay i'm not sure if we need uh medicine and then there is booze wow that that's one pricey booze okay and, and look what what now so i uh, I just bring the wallet and cash it in and you give me the money. Give me the money. So let's see how much can we improve our financial situation. I'm really mad that we weren't able to do anything with that damn thing. 56. Seriously, for all that, we, we got five marks. Son of a biscuit. Okay, so we know that we need uh, a half a tank of gas. Man, that's gonna cost some money. Uh, I don't know what's our mixture of the fuel. So let's pop the hood. We're gonna have to change uh, the car's position, of course. Uh, half the tank is gone. We have currently the optimal oil mix. I, I really don't want to mess with uh, having to uh, uh, repark the car. So let's do this we're gonna drop it over here and we're gonna pick up the oil and we're gonna pour that in is it empty or am i missing something it's it's full it should be able to let me pour it in come on dude play nice play nice what's wrong with you Okay, and now to refill the gas. We're gonna put this into our trunk. And the oil is driving me up the wall because I should be totally uh, allowed to pour it in. Please don't tell me that I have to fill in the gas tank completely and then try to do the oil thing. Now we are at optimal? How is it that now we are at the optimal mixture? Okay, this way in the morning we don't have to bother with uh, refueling and such. I will have to, however, go and purchase the fuel because right now we are locked in. And the oil is... Uh, how's the water? How's the water in the... Okay, now we are okay. We can keep the water. I'm, I'm assuming this is distilled water. And it seems like the optimal oil mixture has been uh, achieved. Or the fuel mixture, sorry. We're going to shut down this. We're going to take the wallet. And now all that money which we so uh, hardly obtained, it's going to be gone. Just like nothing. So... At least uh, what we managed to pull off from uh, the road or that tunnel, we were able to like obtain back or it paid for our fuel here. So that's nice. Uh, okay. So let's close the door so we are not letting out all that hot air from or the cold air from the AC. Uh, the hood is closed. The trunk is closed. We are able to get the the dirt off only when i go from like a super freaking weird angle i'm gonna have to like look into this because it's it's kind of weird but okay we're gonna drop the sponge we're gonna take a seat close the doors pop the engine and wha bam let's go drive back to the motel just hope I remember where the hell it is so I don't drive around like a total dumbass. I think it's in this building. OK, 
Okay. How about a radio? Let's see if I can park it again. Leaving the engine on because I don't know. Yeah, I don't like the way I'm parked. This is not the best parking, so let's change it. No, don't, don't, don't do the the window thingy. How about like now? I I think now it can be better. Yeah, now we did it. Okay. So let's go sleep. Shut the door so we don't let the mosquitoes in. Open the door. Close the door. Let the keys in there because, I don't know. Let's close all of this stuff so we don't get charged for something. Ooh. I have a stupid idea. I do wonder if this is gonna work. I do wonder if this is gonna work. We're gonna take the bottle of the water. I think you know what I'm thinking. And then we're gonna flush the toilet with it. No, we're gonna... Can we refill the water like that? Oh, come on. So, so now it's cold before it was like, what, hot? Damn it. Yeah. So it seems like they are really using like a distilled water or something and you cannot like cheap out on it and try to use your normal water although it's it's not the safest thing because you can actually get the the uh, minerals from the water to like condensate on on the sides of all the pipes and everything so it can actually cause lots of issues i don't know right now what, what's the term for for the word that i'm looking for but if you are for example using your washing machine there are all these tablets to like uh make sure that there is no hold on let, let me check if i can google it Okay, so I wasn't able to find anything, but I'm um, trying to refer to like a water stone or, or like the minerals which sediment on the inside of the pipes and such. Good morning, I trust you slept well. We should head to the border and don't forget to pick the route before we cross. Okay, where where is uncle? Did he just leave me here? You bastard, I cannot even pull the curtains out. Okay, he's already in the car. So so what? He he can I jump through the window? <laughs> Hiya! No? Okay, never mind. Uh Man, I'm weird in this game. Uh the keys are still there. Don't I need them in order to like return them to I don't know something? So she, she, she's just okay with me just leaving. Okay, I'll feed us in. Ah, uh, so we're gonna have to pick the route. We're gonna have to pick the route. So let's take a look at our map. Oh, wow! Czechoslovakia, nice! Uh, so 
Dresden to Sturovo. And damn. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, the first route is 420 kilometers. There's a question mark and a sunny day. Uh, the second route, 280 kilometers. And uh, there's a gas station. And also it's like a cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And then we have the third route, which is 110 kilometers. I would therefore have to uh, use up the... Um, gas in our tank so probably we're gonna go with the 280 kilometers pravda vítězí okay we're we're gonna see about that csfr czech and slovak federative republic čerpací stanice v csfr okay nice so let's go with the second route <laughs> man this 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 is gonna be fun <laughs> this is gonna be fun so, okay, let's get our Leica ready and well, bam, here we go. Okay, so uh, we have to go to the right and then we're going to go to the left. There's the gas station where we're going to have those passports ready. So we're going to be uh, crossing the borders. And I think there's even like a game on the on the Steam where you are like a border patrol and you like deciding if you letting the people in or not. Okay. Uh. Oh wow, the dude has an AK. Nice. Okay. Uh. Probably have to shut down the engine. Uh, roll down the window. And how do I hand you the damn passport, fella? What, what am I doing wrong here? Do I need to pull in a bit more? Uh, a bit less? The window has been pulled down. I have the passport. Oh, I can adjust this. That that's gonna do a jack squad because there's no reflection in it. Uh, okay. So again, I'm not really sure how to do this thing. Uh... Hey, dude, can you, like, let me in? I'm gonna try to ignore the fact that you guys are having today's Czech Republic's flag and, and not the flag of Czechoslovakia. Uh, can I, like, steal your ammo? Or, like, what the hell do I do here? Can, can we go in here? <laughs> We're gonna get shot! We're gonna get arrested, most likely. God damn it, okay. Things are gonna heat up here. Uh, so, obviously... <clears throat> um, not really sure what am I doing wrong. Uh, maybe it's the fact that I'm, like, warping the car. And we should be facing... Somehow... Okay. Papers, please. So now he wants the passports. Well, have him the goddamn passport. What, you're gonna do it through a closed window? Don't be a jackass. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. No, not the map. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> ah, I want to step outside. Why do I have the wallet? Maybe that's the issue. Okay, let's see here. Why is he checking my trunk? Hey! Hey! You're moving the car! Okay, everything seems in order. Pa papers, please. I just handed you the goddamn thing. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, I, I don't believe these bastards. No offense to uh, people from Czech Republic, but... Uh, Do you steal any of my shit? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. That's clear, I know. I think that's how you say it, right? Okay, so let's go. Man, I cannot believe I'm actually having fun with this game. Oh, this is so freaky. Oh man, if you guys are gonna keep recommending titles like this to me, uh, I'm, I'm never gonna run out of content to play and put up onto the channel. This this has been really a uh, pleasant change for me. How the hell did we already deplete almost a half of the tank when like we, we did not travel that far? It's gonna be kind of difficult for me to uh, like uh, know how much have we gone through the country uh, because uh, now the clock is actually like showing us with the added mileage. What is that? I'll be able to buff this out no problem, okay? There's another round bound, so we're gonna have to cross this and we're gonna have to find a place to fix the engine. I would prefer to get to another gas station. We'll have more borders to deal with on our journey. Be careful what you try to take over the border. If they find illegal goods, we'll be fined. Hey! Sturevo! We're, we're almost there! God damn it, we're gonna have to go up the hill. So you know what? Because going up the hill is such a stressful situation for the two-stroke engine. Uh, let's pop the hood. Let's pop the trunk, let's take the spare kit, and the... Uh... Okay, so it looks like we can get some... Wait, how is it? I I've just used it three times. How did it not deplete? I, I should be happy w with that, right? Okay. Oh yeah, we have to <laughs> turn the engine on. <laughs> just, we cannot just spin the damn wheel and expect to go forward. So now we should be able to go, but man, this is gonna be trippy. Yeah, and if you would ever see the roads in like Central Europe, y you would know what I mean because they are in a horrible state. They're just horrible. Uh, drive towards Sturava, it's on the border of Hungary. We'll be able to cross on over tomorrow. I hope you remember to refuel and repair, this could be a long journey. Well yeah, with your fat ass in the passenger seat, let, let's put on some tunes. So there's like one station? Oh, that's some BS. So like, I have to ask, why is this place just full of birches? Don't you think there are other trees that can theoretically grow here? Ooh, no, 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 no. We're gonna salvage this. We're gonna roll up that window. We're gonna step outside and... Uh, damn it, another one of these locked boxes. I have to, like, find out how the hell to do whatever. Uh, so there's a road tire. Unfortunately, uh... Can we take anything from the engine? What 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 you got? Rat stock engine. Okay. Uh, minus two kilograms to weight. Uh, cell value fifteen. Durability three out of three. Uh.
so that that's the thing it, it seems to be in like the full functioning state uh but this is the engine if we pull our hood up and we take a look at our stock engine uh 54 kilos of weight so this is a red stock engine so we would just have like a different color uh, the durability is the same 22 seconds i, I want to compare like what would happen if we were to install this puppy in 52 kilo, uh, kilograms, uh, 22.5 seconds, okay. I want to see if I can... Take the engine and sell it at one of the Leica uh, stations. No? Why can't we use the back seats for any storage? This is kind of extremely disappointing for me. I was hoping we would come across some more usable stuff. Now I cannot even return the goddamn component inside. It does not even have the driver's wheel. Or driving wheel, if you prefer. Can we take the second spare tire? Wow, we actually can. So why the hell is it not allowing me to put in the engine? Would I have to... Okay, well, uh, well I want to see if I can take the engine because that's a lot of spare dough. Which we can get from this. Okay, uh... I definitely need to have uh, this in order for us to switch the tires or we are like royally boned. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're cooking. <laughs> we need to fix this. Uh, road tires. Uh, durability. Okay, uh, do I need to take this, drop it here? Uh, let, let's do this. Let's, let's do that. And, uh... What, 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 what about the durability now? Durability, two out of three, two out of three. Two out of three, two out of three, and the spare tires uh, is also two out of three. This one is three out of three, but... Oh, come on. Put it back in. Play nice. Uh... This can go over here, and... No. Uh, the engine repair kit. We can... Repair nothing. Everything seems to be functional. So do we leave this alone as is? Because we have only like one repair on it. And I... I would need a uh, tire repair kit, actually, in order to do this. Okay. And I cannot seem to be able to crack open through these things. So we're going to have to see if there's going to be, like, some tool or something which would allow us... Ooh, there's a freaking bottle of oil. Is it full? It seems to be full. Uh, how's our bottle of oil in comparison? If I would be even able to get to it in this, uh, okay. So we're going to take this one because it's full. And, uh, can we, so this is now empty bottle. This is now a full 
extra tank with some oil inside. We have the engine. Uh, we have the uh, two tires. Uh, I cannot take this, but I'm going to return it into the trunk of the car. If possible. No, it's not apparently possible. But okay, we were able to get a brand new engine. We're going to be able to sell the stock engine. We're going to have to get a repair kit for our tires. And if we sell the engine, theoretically, we should be able to afford the uh, repair kit for the tires. Let's put on some tunes. I really need to find a way how to start cracking open those uh, locked boxes. Okay, that was unfortunate. Uh, I, 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 I saw a freaking box. I just hope that the car did not sustain too much damage. Okay. Who just leaves these boxes everywhere? What is this? In 1990, there was no Amazon in one day shipping. Or is all this stuff? Ooh, tobacco. That's a lot of cigarettes. We are taking those. Uh, I just hope I can store them somewhere. Please tell me we can. Ah, man. This is... This is... Ah... Uh... Okay, what if we were to take the damn uh, bottle of water? And uh, we're going to leave the water here and uh, put in the cigarettes instead. If, if this will not be able to squeeze in because of a goddamn cigarette, I'm going to get unhappy. Come on. You can store in that bottle. Make me happy. You have not seen me go uh, from a big grocery haul yet, so you don't know how many things I can squeeze into a small trunk of a car. But okay. Uh, really unfortunate with that accident. Almost uh, like driving the car into a freaking wall. Uh, we're going to close the map. That's not what I was aiming for. We're going to turn on the engine. Hopefully there won't be border control before we come across a gas station. We really need to fix up those tires. And sell the stock engine and the tobacco. If we manage to do that, we're going to be able to turn a decent profit and get into a surplus with our financial situation. Hopefully getting over the 50 something marks we currently have available to us. So, you know what? It would be so much easier if you would step outside and just start pushing the damn car. We are barely breaking 20. We're going, like, with all the friction and the uh, added weight, considering that we have additional 50-something kilos now in the back of the car. Actually, surprised it's even managing to pull us up this hill. But seriously, what's up with all these birches? Like, is there, like, only one tree growing in the entire Central Europe, or, like, what the hell is going on? Uh, there seems to be a sign, maybe that's a gas station, so let, let's, let's try to get to it. Uh, there's actually a sign for the town of Sturavo, so there's that, okay. So no gas station, and Sturavo is at the border with Hungary, as Uncle Lufti told us. So I'm assuming there's going to be a trunk check. And if they're going to come across the cigarettes, we would have trouble. And I don't want to be fined. Uh, the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic seems brighter than I remember. Now I'm going to have to take your word for it. Uh, sorry, I forget. It's using a new name. 
CSFR. I actually thought the CSFR is something with France because FR is like a shortcut for France. New name, but uh, same old roads, it seems. Amen. My god, there's so many hills! Which makes little sense because the uh, mountain ranges are actually in like more of the northern section of the country and if we are heading south to the border with Hungary, there usually are no hills there. There's like farmland and flatlands, so it seems I see a gas station potentially over there. We're running low also on fuel, so it would be nice if we can... Take this weird bridge. I, I don't think I did it correctly, like driving on top of it. But... Okay. It says that it's open for 24 hours? Some, something with uh, 24 hours. And uh, they charge one mark per liter, I assume. <laughs> okay, we were taking a snapshot of that. That. <laughs> okay. Oh. So if I recall correctly, the translation of that word over there means shit. So. <laughs> Uh, uh, if it's next to the oil, <laughs> I'm starting to question what's actually being put in the oil. But okay. Uh, so the question is right now, uh, this is a gas station. I don't think we can just go to the front freaking desk and just drop in an engine piece. Uh, I'm afraid we're not buying that. Yeah, so we're gonna have to find a lake Leica station in order to actually sell the damn engine block uh, The spare tire uh, this one has the high durability Yeah, but we want to take the cigarettes the cigarettes, please the cigarettes, please the cigarettes, please Jesus Christ this is so annoying Let's do this. Let's take these two. Wow! That was a good stop. That's 1340. That, that's gonna help us out a lot. Although I'm not really sure how we're gonna be able to do anything when it comes to... Okay, sausages again. I'm not really sure if we're supposed to be eating stuff. And they have only the engine repair kits. I unfortunately don't see a freaking tire repair kit. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Are you serious? The one thing which I need, coffee beans, you can shove them up somewhere. I don't really need that. I, I need my freaking tire repair. Damn it. Ooh, crowbar. Crowbar is what we need in order to crack open those chests. Buy value is 25. Okay. Okay, okay. So first we need to take a look at... Oh, man. Are, are we even close enough to, like, uh, refill the car? Let, let's close the doors first. Let's roll up the window and... horrible oh man what did you guys get me into with this game <laughs> jesus <laughs> oh, okay this is gonna be hilarious uh so we need to refill the tank wow we have only two liters of fuel left no oil mix Let's try to pour in that oil for now and see what's up. Why can I never pick up the goddamn thing which I want to pick up? Optimal oil mix. It's 
goes back in. Uh, we can theoretically consider selling one of the spare tires. We're going to have just one. And this is going to allow me to, therefore, purchase the crowbar. Because I'm quite sure the crowbar is going to be quite worth it. And we can sell the oil bottle which we have we can sell the water bottle which we have because they are like uh oh damn it we don't have the uh water bottle anymore we we need to free up this side of the and uh the trunk so damn okay uh how's our water situation our water is actually full uh this is showing signs that it might need some maintenance, but without having the tire repair kit, I'm kind of afraid of what, what might happen on the road. Uh, should we switch the tire? Damn it, we actually sold the good one. Uh, ah, you know what, fudge it. Uh, I'm not gonna mess around with that right now. And let's see if the car needs a little wash. So apparently no. Uh, so how's the fuel in this? It seems to be full. Uh, the oil. The oil. I wanna sell the oil because it's almost empty. And we're gonna grab a brand new bottle. So now it's gonna cost us 1.60. Now this is the thing. So far we have been like paying the the normal prices. Like there weren't no partial numbers. So I don't really know how this is gonna affect our uh, finances too. And I do hope I'm gonna be able to squeeze in that freaking uh, crowbar. So the crowbar should therefore allow us to start cracking open these uh, boxes and who knows what's going to be inside of them. Okay, so we have the crowbar, we have the car jack, we have the fuel tank, we have the two-stroke oil, we have a stock engine, we have one road spare tire. We need to, however, fix our tires when we can, so... Uh, we're gonna see what's up, but I think the episode has been running long enough, and so we're gonna finish it off at uh, the CSFR uh, gas station with the shitty oil. And if you did like the episode, then give it a big thumbs up, helps a lot with the algorithm. If you wanna see more fun content, uh, check out the... Uh, link in the description it will lead you to the channel itself if you're new to the channel consider subscribing as i publish fun content like this on a weekly base from mondays till fridays i do playthroughs comparisons all sorts of cool stuff so go check it out i'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully we're gonna see each other at the next one actually kind of funny that this seems to be in uh the language of the country but this thing is now like in english so that that's that's kind of confusing for me but th this this is the funniest thing ever so yeah uh give it a big thumbs up uh see you in the comment section have any tips tricks advice for me feel free to leave them in there and i'm gonna be more than happy to read through them and get back to you at my earliest convenience thank you for watching everyone and bye bye for now oh man what are you guys getting me into with this game And I do wonder if I can save up while being in here. Like, if, if, if it's not going to cause any issues or whatnot. Man. <laughs> this, this is the funniest thing ever. Oh, okay.